Hello PointWise users and welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrated technique in just a couple of minutes. In today's video we're going to demonstrate application of the domain adaptation feature when using periodic boundaries. Users occasionally encounter models that are inherently symmetric. By leveraging the symmetry and only modeling a portion of the full geometry, a user can save time meshing and running a simulation on a smaller computational domain. The full model can then be recovered by either translating or rotating the solution during post-processing. To ensure the copies of the original mesh, when translated or rotated, are aligned properly, the periodic boundaries opposite of each other need to be point matched. This constraint is not violated when using the new domain adaptation feature. On screen, you'll notice I have a single blade passage for an axial rotor. In the description, there is a link to a Tutorial Tuesday video describing the process for creating periodic boundaries. However, for this demonstration, the periodic boundaries have already been created. Because periodic boundaries must remain point matched, domain adaptation applied to one periodic boundary or the other is duplicated exactly in the linked opposing periodic boundary. Let's take a look at how domain adaptation with periodic boundaries works. I'm going to turn on the source and then simply grab the domain of interest and enter the grid solve task. As outlined in the previous two domain adaptation videos, domains by default will automatically adapt to sources. Let's initialize the domain adaptation and take a look at the results. You can see both periodic boundaries have been adapted in the exact same way. Now, a user can select both periodic boundaries and enter the grid solve task, but domain adaptation is disabled in this scenario, and a warning message is issued to the messages window. Take a look here. Best practices suggest that the user should select only one of the periodic boundaries for adaptation, as we do not currently support a periodic size field within PointWise. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, drop us a line below or connect with us via Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.